And this is how it should be made. Shlosh meos amo. Orecha tevo. 300 amo, the length of the tevo. Chamishim amo rochbo. 50 amo, it's width. Shloshim amo kumoso. 30 amos, it's height. So a tassel, a table. Three hundred, three hundred, three hundred and fifty. Okay. So a tasla table. What does it mean? So a Rashi cites two two positions. Yeshomim chalon means a window. Yeshomim even tov ham irulohim. There was a certain stone that actually gave off light, which illuminated would illuminate the table. What's the value of the, t of the window? Right? What's the value of the window? <coughs> there, were, there were no luminaries. All the years, for a year, the Morse Shemayim didn't function. So if it's Evan Tov, it's good. But what's so are? We'll discuss it in a minute. What? Go ahead. What? There's no light. What do you have a window? When they left the table, it says they le went through the door. Good, good, good question. So, okay, you work working backwards. You work work backwards because that's the question. Because the question was, Hashem says you're not leaving the table until I tell you to leave the table. So what did what did Noah send the bird out? Curiosity, right? That, right? Hashem says you will leave the table when I tell you to leave the table. All of a sudden, when he sees the peaks of the mountains, he waits 40 days, he starts sending out first the, the, the Ori and the Yona. Right? So there was a lack of bitokon. No, 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 no. Yep, yeah, not a lack of bitokon. It doesn't make sense. You can't, Hashem says, you're not leaving until I tell you to leave. What is just the curiosity issue over here? You know, are we getting, are we getting closer? That's not how, Howard, what do you have to say? Oh, David's going back. David's going forwards, not no, no, backwards. But he's, he's, tra he's going forward and then going this way. But it keeps saying, you ask the question, what is the, is it a, a stone or whatever? No, so the two I'm asking on the position that it's a window. So wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do it. If it's a artificial or some kind of light, so man needs to know of light and dark. If you don't want to be a confinement to prison, you don't know day and night. You know, it's, it's just the story of this. But if you have something like this, there's no sun outside. Where's the light coming from? It's this, uh, uh, so so that's where it's coming from. It's a to, to uh, keep the eternal clock going. You have to know when, when light is and dark is, otherwise the person goes crazy. No, no, it's it's an artificial. It's, it's something that's in your teva. It's not a window. But to keep a person regular for a year, more than a year, is not to not to have Bernie. a cycle. Who do I blame? You or Joe for this? <laughs> I, I literally don't understand what you're talking about. You're talking about over here. Uh, you must know uh, there has to be a 24-hour cycle in the person. He's not talking. He's not going. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about where it means a window. What's the value of a window? No, but that's right. You, we're not talking. This is not a, a window. This right now it's an artificial. No, the two with two positions. Read Rashi. Yesh Omri the meaning of Tzol means chalon. Not the stone. Doesn't mean stone. Okay. And the other interpretation means it means 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 the stone. That gives a. I'm going on stone. That is but that's not my question. That's not my question. The window. The guy's a window washer and no windows in the building. So what are you washing? <laughs> right. Go home. <laughs> Howard, you're all washed up. Finished. It's nothing to talk about. That way I can't out the window. Exactly. That's why they, the windows here are sealed. Okay. So the question is. If, if there's no light, what's the value of having a window? 
Entry and exit is through the door. They made a door. The window to Noah was the concept of Ishtadlus. That's why Hashem, by making the window, where did Noah get the idea to send out the raven? Meaning his initiative to want to go out, to be curious, that would activate the necessary hashba to bring about <coughs> the release from the table. That was, that was, that was the eye-opener for Noah. Understand? It's not for light. No, even if, even in terms, of, yeah, but because we're able to expedite through our ishtavlus, we can expedite things. Yeah, but how do you know? How do you know? How did Noah know that? What do I need a window for? The, even if you're in Tzohar, Tzohar means a window. The light is the stone. There was light in the table, no question. They functioned for a year in the table. Yeah, he had all kinds of responsibilities. So what provided light to stone? Tzohar means window. So what do you need a window for? There was no, no light comes. This pr provided a light was the stone. The answer is that to tell you that you have to send something through that window. What am I sending through the window? Mean to see exactly is it dry and not dry. Your established wanting to go out, that will expedite the process to get out sooner. But there's no light. The, the, the luminaries, the, the motors didn't function for, for a year. HaKadosh Baruch was teaching him the principle, the concept of Ishtadlus. That was the window. Right, right, exactly. This is the Sarusa de la Sata, what we called. Right? Activating things from low, we have a Sarusa de la, de, de la Malo, de la Elo. He was had to be a deer. No, no. Did it have to? Did it? Did it make? This, but he didn't know that. He didn't know that. Howard, you with us? Okay. Well, Amar to Chalenim Lamalo. It came to almost a point, but it, it, it narrowed, and the width of the top of the table was a, was an Amar. Ksuyim Meshupa, Vaola Atu Kotzim Lamalo, meaning was slanted, going upward. Narrow, and the very top was an amo. Why? Because others, you have the pounding of the rain at such a level, it would destroy the roof. So therefore, you'd have the runoff. The rain would run off. Let's go further. And the entrance of the teva should be on the side. Wait, wait. And it should make three stories, three levels. The lower level, the middle level, and the third level. Why? So the rain should not seep in, right? If you have, as much as you seal it, it's coming in. The rain's going to come in, so you put it on the side. There were three stories. And the Modor, the second was where the animals were. Right? Beim v'chai v'ovos, tachtim l'zevil. Where did all the waste go? The waste went on the lower level. Oh, that was like the ballast. <laughs> that stabilized the teva. Yeah. Yes, what do you know all the details? This is all to conceal the miracle. They could have gone in there and everything would have worked out. You know, you could have had your five-star room without doing anything. Right? But with the, with the rain, how it can go Let me ask you a question. It's a known fact, you know, if you know what kind of waste, the stench must have been something which you, you couldn't, you go, to, you go to a zoo where they, they invest, uh, cost them, they have a budget of $100,000 just to maintain it. And you walk in and the stench sometimes is, you know, you can't deal with it. You know, with all the air circulation and the, the systems, you know, cleansing the air. You know what this is? A confined box for a year with every species, with all the waste, you die of asphyxiation, the, the, the gases that would come from it. How do you survive? It's a nest. It's all a nest. It's a nest. There was no stench. There was no, or whatever. It wasn't, wasn't more than something natural. That's what it was. I mean, how could one person feed it? The Gemara says he fed every animal, every species. Is it possible? And it's right. Is it possible? And because he delayed feeding the lion, he was wounded. The lion bit him. He became a balmum. And therefore, he couldn't officiate any longer because he was a balmum. How's it possible? The whole thing's a mess. I'm Moshe Rabbeinu wrote 13th Sifri Torah on the last day of his life. 
could you write 30, 13 Sifri Torah in one day? Right? It was in this. It was in this that he was able to write 13 Sifri Torah. It says that when the Levim replaced the Bechorim, they waved the Levim, our own, 22,000 Levim. Could one person wave 22,000 people in one day? I'm not even talking about the physical strength, even time-wise. Right? It's in this. Right? He told them, no, 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 no. He told them, so find that stone, and that stone should be the stone that will illuminate the Teva during the period of time that you're going to be in the Teva. Illuminating stone. It's an interesting type of stone. I don't know what kind of stone, because usually very often you have to have... Yeah, yeah, but it's an iridescent to illuminate the whole Teva. This is some, some level of stone. Yeah. What? Alan is drawing from his time used to read science fiction. Okay. Okay. That's his frame of reference. No, read or write. It, it, it's yeah, okay, it's the same concept. Everything, sure. Vani Hini Mavi a Mabul Maimal or it's I will bring the mabul water maimal or it lashachis kolbosor to destroy all flesh ashbaruah chayim mitachz hashemayim which has the spirit of life from under the heaven kol hashemoritz igvo I mean it's already uh, what is it am kol hashemoritz igvo he says I will destroy all flesh that has the spirit of life from under the heavens and all that's on the earth will die will perish. Okay. What is the meaning of the word? Hini mevi or hini muchad lahaskim em osam she zirzuni vomro lefonai kvar ma'enish kisis kareno. He says, "I'm agreeable. I'm ready to agree with those when I initially wanted to create man." They said, "Ma'enish kisis kareno." Enosh is not worth even mentioning, meaning he has no value. Mabul. What does it mean the word Mabul? Shibola Sakol. It destroyed everything. Bola means it, it, it wore down everything. Shibilbil Sakol. Mixed everything. Laval Bil. Shovel Sakol Miragobal Nomoch. It brought everything from the higher location to the low location. Talk about fossil fuel. You know, Shinor. Bovel is called Shinor. Right? So the Gemara says, why it's called Shinar? Shininu Shom Mesei Mabul. Because since it was in its location, the water, all the, f all the remains of all living creatures, met people, that, were all washed out to that area. So it's talking about fossil fuel. So the fossil fuel from the Mabul, that's when it came. All this, that developed into oil. Right? Zeloshin Uglish Tigrim Tufna. Shehitzif is a coal. It's a deluge. Vehivi veiviyam lebavel she amuko lekach nikro shinor she ninu rusham kol meisei mabul. All the meisei mabul they they want the shinor. That's bavel. Vakimosi is brisi itoch. I will uphold the bris the covenant with you. Ovosa la tevo, and you'll. Come into the ark, Ato Vonecho. Now, what's the order? You and your sons, Vishkov Mishta Vonecho Itoch. And the, your wife and the wives of your sons. So this admitted alludes that what they have to separate. Cohabitation is not permitted during this period of time when they're in the Teva. Hakimosi is Brisi. This is a little difficult. Brishoish Sorachala Perush Lo Yirkov of Yapshu. You needed a special covenant. That the fruits, the food, should not rot and become uh, whatever. Yapshu also means an expression of rotting. The second I understand. Right? He was despised. Noach was forecasting something they didn't want to hear about. And they said, the moment we see you going into the, into the table, we're going to kill you. We're going to destroy the table. 
So that's the bris we understand. But the fruit shouldn't rot. And why is this any any different than any other part of the the nest of the teva? Right? The teva has to survive the the, the flood waters. The level of of agitation going with the water. The Gemara says in in, in in Yisvachim that the water was was sephiric. Everything in in the water actually just dissolved. So Gemara asks, so why didn't the teva just dissolve? It was hot sephiric acid. That's what it was. So why didn't the ark? The ark should have just fallen apart. So Gemara says there was a nest. Hakadosh Baruch made that the water around the teva was cold water. It was ordinary water. It was outside. The, the proximity of the table, that's where you had everything else. So the more asked the question, so what, why, why did the fish survive? The fish shouldn't have survived the mammal. So Mara says one of two answers. One answer is either they went to the depths of the ocean, because it was only the upper surface, but in the depths of the ocean, the, the water was, was regular water, so they were able to survive, or Eretz soil was not affected by the mammal. Was not, the water did not cover Eretz soil. As a result of that, the fish, they all swam to that location. That's where they all swam to. It's merciless. But everything in Eretz the people who lived there died. Saturday dies, and it says that because there were poisonous gases that were given off from the, from the, from the mabul, they, they, they were all asphyxiated. They, that's how they died. The people and all the living creatures, because this is all that it's on earth, under the heavens, are going to perish. So they died as a result of the asphyxiation, the poisonous, noxious gases that came from, because it's, we're talking about, it's gophers. It gives off sulfur. Sulfur gives off noxious gases. That's how they died. But, but for the fruit, what do we need a special? A special you need something a special bris. We find by the uh, by Shmito in Bukhosei, Bukhosei te lechu. Bukhalta yosha noshan. Right? Yoshim ne chodesh totziu. You can have such bounty that the old crop from three years ago is not going to rot, and you're not going to have any place to put the new crop. So you can have to take out the old crop to make room for the new crop. Is there a special bris over there? There's no special bris. You do the right thing. Crop, the, the previous year's crops are not going to rot. It's a miracle, okay? Rotting is a, is a natural process, right? It's not going to rot. Here you need a special with Sakimosi is breezy. Everything. Of course it was a miracle. So that's why I'm asking, what do we need? If you, the bridge should be for everything. Right? Why is it specifically why is the finance, why is it specifically focusing on the food? Right, everything you need a bridge. How do you survive it? Everything's a miracle. And wood doesn't come from the earth. Right. Wood. The wood doesn't come from the earth. What about the animals? They don't come from the earth. It seems to be that they, they, they should have what to eat. If it rotted, they wouldn't have what to eat. Maybe. No, see, he says he brought in saplings. Initially, he brought in without the thing. Okay, good, good. No problem. Here we're talking about, yeah. The question, you know, sometimes the important thing is the question is a question. It needs an answer. You don't have to give an answer, but, you, but if the question is a good question, then you'll come up with a good answer. Okay, let's see the morale. Was the Teva navigating or is it standing still? The car there was movement. Of course, it was moving.